sometimes it's just a, kind of a gradient down. Another thing I like to do, I kind of like to flip through these. You can't really do that in Mac. You kind of just got to pick your one. I think I'm okay, bro. I'm good. Thank you. I'm just starting to kind of throw in a, a layer of color. This is pretty much usually how it might take something to color. You know, just kind of getting a wash in, starting to deal with maybe a few kind of temperature relationships. You just created another layer of the, a gradient and just uh, laid it, oh, multiplied it right over the top. Um, and I'm just dealing with, you know, erasing some stuff, dodging some things, just trying to get a little bit more. Kind of playing on your erasing Yeah, erasing that layer and dodging it. Kind of playing around, just seeing what starts to happen. See what happens. Start to throw some of this stuff on here. Not really for any re not you know in any specific pattern or anything, just to get some interesting stuff to start to happen. Oops. Yeah, just getting something interesting on there. And I, I think it's again the, the way that I kind of work with. You know, it's you're really just playing in the mud. That you're not really using it. I mean, sometimes you can use like a texture grab or something like that, but I think I tend to use it just to get some extra information kind of happening in the object. Necessarily want it too recognizable. You know, it might do something interesting. You start to thinking about it in a different way. Light. You know, and then just start painting. You know, start a new layer. Don't really use layers in any kind of uh, real thought out sense. I guess that kind of goes along with the way that I paint. But uh, you know, I'll just flatten the layers at any given time. It really doesn't matter. I'm not trying to keep stuff separate or think about glazing or anything. I'm constantly drawn with the paint.
Sure. That sounds very good. Wheat's good. Um, no, just everything. Everything to each one's there. Yeah, very loose. Still thinking about it. I mean, I think the way I'm doing is constantly drawing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to redraw things, move things. I don't want to be stuck like, oh, this is the time where I apply the color and the drawing is done. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Up there. Make sure we're right, huh? But yeah, so I'm trying to just react to what's going on. You know. Sorry about that one, guys. I wish I could see it. He's behind me, so I can't really adjust it to make yeah. it. This character is starting to change from what I thought I wanted. I think I'm kind of starting to rely because I'm having so much trouble on this computer. I'm starting to kind of draw things that I'd normally draw, you know? You go back to your icons and stuff. Definitely, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I really want some kind of a feeling out of the piece. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I guess you, to me, it's like I want to listen to what the thing's telling me to do. You know, I, I don't want to force it. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, I, I was really just using it to try and you know get a, maybe an interesting pattern just to kind of start something to start thinking about like oh, okay maybe I like the direction something's moving or I like the way that the you know that the the values are starting to change or something like that you know just start to give you something new to think about you know to me I like to constantly push it. I don't like to rehash the same stuff. You know? I don't like to maybe even do the illustration the same way each time. You know? Exactly, it's an experiment. I want it to be an experiment. You know, which is kind of scary because you know sometimes it blows up. <laughs> but uh, when it works, I think uh, you discover certain things that you maybe wouldn't have discovered. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have looked in certain places. You wouldn't have done certain things. when you do stumble on things it's it's because you are playing around in the dark <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah man I mean if you're if you're thinking about like creatures and stuff like that yeah man 
Totally. Yeah. You got to go to the zoo. It's ten bucks, man. That's a movie. Okay. Oh yeah, man. You just grab stuff. Some just grab photos that have nothing, you know, like junk piles and stuff. Yeah. You just kind of stretch it and push it. And I really like flipping through these like layer uh, settings. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, right. but uh, you can't. I don't know why, but you can't do that in Mac. You can only do it in PC. Really? Yeah, isn't that annoying? Yeah, and that's like something I do constantly, you know, because I'm trying to keep everything kind of you know, crazy.
Let's do it, dude. Let's give it a break. Sip, uh, sip apple juice. 